Hey everybody, Mr. Heave here, and today we are going to work on making pie charts. And for pie charts, we're going to use a different program called PyGal. Um, so I'm going to import PyGal, and it makes pie charts really easy. Uh, I'm just going to call this pie chart, and we say PyGal dot capital P I E. Open and close parentheses. That's how we start it off. So now that we have it have it started off, if we say uh, pie chart dot render, it will show us our pie chart with nothing in it. Actually, it's just a blank screen. We don't have any we don't have any information for a pie chart, so we need to add in some information after line two. So I can say pie chart dot add. Uh, let's say dog. So what we I should explain what we're going to take data on. Uh, this is data based off of pets that people have at home. So um, let's say eight people have dogs, and let's say um, pie chart. I need to spell it right. Dot add. Uh, let's say cats. Uh, let's say there are ten people with cats. Uh, now if I run this, oh look. We have a nice pie chart. We have our dogs over here. We have our cats over here. It uh, looks very, very nice. Um, so now if we uh, want to add something else, pie chart dot add, uh, what's another, like uh, some people like birds. Um, I don't think very many, let's say like three out of the group. And so if I throw in birds in there, all of a sudden it updates. And um, there's always some person with a snake, isn't there? Whenever you have a big group, so let's have one person that's a snake. All right, and now we have a nice pie chart to the right uh, that we can use um, for our data. 